hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing great today's video i'll be showing you how i prepare this delicious spinach jello fries that tasted super good honestly try out this recipe and you will never regret it i guarantee you on this yeah and this is another way you can enjoy your spinach without stressing yourself why not join me let me show you how we made this let's get started okay here are the ingredients they are well prepped these are the ingredients that we are going to be needing for this amazing and delicious recipe we'll be measuring now three cups of parboiled rice one stone i added some salt then hot water to the level of the rice in the bowl cover it for at least 10 minutes after that wash the rice until the water runs clear okay one stone set aside next we have spinach that's the main ingredients needed for this recipe i'm using folding spinach okay i allowed it to melt after that i squeeze out the excess water out yeah i store this spinach myself okay so i transferred it in a blender added little water and blend until it is smooth okay if you have the fresh one you can as well use it okay at this point you can see we are done blending the spinach very smooth okay so i went ahead and transfer it into a bowl and set it aside okay all the ingredients needed for this recipe they are ready okay it's time to cook so in a clean pot i went ahead and added in some vegetable oil and allowed to heat up yeah one stone i added some salt ginger and garlic best stir for about two minutes about two minutes now i added the chopped other slice onions and uh, saute for about two more minutes two minutes now i added the roughly blended red bell pepper okay so we are now using tomatoes for this recipe one stone keeps stirring and frying until the sauce reduces in quantity okay and it is well fried i got your back on this so anytime any place where you at this point you will notice that the tomatoes has reduced in quantity yeah now go ahead and season it up okay i added curry powder oregano all right i added some seasoning cubes nutmeg powder feel free to use any seasonings of your choice okay so i say everything until it is well combined enjoy yourself with a big follow you don't need to de bother yourself with my brother but whatever it might be it's always a solution looking for the perfect kitchen to now i added some fresh pepper you can add to your taste all right here is some crayfish add to your taste as well i'll be adding half of it the half will be used later stay until everything is well combined just the way you are seeing here on the screen so the next mm, oh the almighty recipe look at it and look at it it's so greenish so i added the blended spinach mm, don't mind the color guys honestly try this recipe and thank me lera okay so i added it and mix everything until it is well combined so guys i did not use all the spinach here yeah. so i was just adding little by little to know if it is if i'm satisfied with it okay so at this point you notice that I am well satisfied now okay after that cover and let it cook for about two minutes okay 
after two minutes i checked on the pot yeah so i went ahead and gave it a probably stir okay you set your cooker on a medium heat okay so the next we are going to be adding in the papoid rice yeah <laughs> so after adding it mix until everything is well combined okay and stir fry for another two more minutes yeah Jira's kitchen there for you, Mira's, kitchen there for you, Mira's, kitchen there for you, Mira's, As long as it concern food, as long as it concern kitchen. As long as it goes side belly, you know who to call. Mama At this point, we are done mixing the rice. Yeah, so I added the meat stock. Yeah, so give it a properly stir, okay, to make sure that everything is well combined well mixed so i added some water to the level of the rice in the pot make sure not to over water the rice okay feel free to taste for salt or seasonings just the way you are seeing here on that screen so i added some salt now everything is perfect okay so i added some dry fish mm. honestly this dry fish took this rice to another level <laughs> honestly so i added my grilled mackerel fish okay so once done i covered it with some foil yeah set it on a medium to low heat okay and cover the pots until the water dries up and the rice well cooked okay you can be checking the rice from time to time to make sure everything is well done okay so at this point i checked the rice okay to my notice the rice is properly cooked but still remaining little water i have to cover it back again yeah for some minutes some minutes later i checked on the rice wow the type of aroma coming out from this kitchen eh? mm, honestly you cannot resist it okay so i went ahead and gave it a probably stay with some love <laughs> guys honestly speaking this rice tasted so super delicious hope you try out this recipe and let me know what you think in the comment section as you can see here it is time to serve if today is your first time here thank you so much for joining please do not forget to subscribe to this channel like share and comment and also turn on your notification bell to be notified Anytime, any day, a new video is being uploaded. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you guys for watching and see you in our next one. And remember, bless. Bye.